Hello and welcome to ENI UK and Europe edition. I'm Kate Ribiris reporting from Brussels, Belgium. We're bringing news reports from the United Kingdom and Europe. For our headlines. UK plans to privatize Channel 4 TV network. Nearly entire global population breathing polluted air, WHO. And with us we have Arabelle Celestino. Hi Arabelle. Hi Kate, and today I will be reporting about Kinder extending UK and Ireland chocolate football after salmonella cases. And UK plans nuclear reactors to boost production. Spain striking truckers uh, call off strike for now. And for sports, we have Chelsea head coach reacts as Real Madrid push Chelsea to the brink. And to end our program, we have our view from our window, RHS Garden Wisby, one of the world's great gardens. In the UK, the government plans to privatize Britain's free-to-air public service television network, Channel 4, arguing that it otherwise cannot keep up with streaming giants such as Netflix and Amazon. The company launched in 1982, and its remit involves supporting Britain's independent production sector and producing a unique and diverse range of programs. The publicly owned but commercially funded broadcaster draws 90% of its income from advertising. But Culture Minister Nadine Doris tweeted late Monday that government ownership was holding Channel 4 back from competing against streaming giants like Netflix and Amazon. Dory said that a change of ownership will give Channel 4 the tools and freedom to flourish and thrive as a public service broadcaster long in the future. The plans will be outlined in Parliament in due course, she added. A statement by Channel 4 said it is disappointing that today's announcement has been made without formally recognizing the significant public interest concerns which have been raised by the potential sale, which it is reported could be raised up to one billion pounds. Channel 4 Chief Executive Alex Mahone said in an internal email to staff that it was for the government to propose and parliament to decide the future of the broadcaster. Labour's uh, Lucy Powell, the Shadow Culture Secretary, told BBC Radio's Force Today program but the decision doesn't make any sense. I can't find many people who are in favor of it. I fear that rather than competing with some of the big U.S. streaming giants, it is more likely to be bought by one of them, she added. And on Monday, the World Health Organization, headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland, said that 99% of people on Earth are breathing air that contains too many pollutants, blaming poor air quality as the cause of millions of deaths each year. Almost 100% of the global population is still breathing air that exceeds the standards recommended by the World Health Organization. This is a major public health issue, the agency's Environment, Climate Change and Health Director Maria Nira told reporters. In its previous report, four years ago, WHO had already found that over 90% of the global population was affected but it has since tightened its limit, it said. WHO's uh, study provides air quality data for, from more than 6,000 cities and other settlements across 117 countries, representing around 80% of urban settings. In addition, Nira said WHO used satellite data and mathematical models to determine that air quality is falling short basically everywhere. Fresh data from the UN Health Agency uh, show that every corner of the globe is dealing with air population, uh, pollution, although the problem is much worse, worse in poorer countries. The poorest air quality was found in the East, uh, Eastern Mediterranean and Southeast Asia regions, as well as Africa, she said. Out of around uh, 4,000 cities across 74 countries that collected nitrogen dioxide data, measurements meanwhile showed only 23% of people breathe 
annual average concentrations of the gas that met levels in WHO's uh, recently updated gu guidelines. The findings were alarming, the organization said, and highlighted the importance of the rapidly curbing fossil fuel use. WHO uh, Chief Tedros Ghebreyesus uh, uh, stressed that worries over soaring energy prices due in part in Russia's invasion of Ukraine should help propel change. While UN data last year indicated that pandemic lockdowns and travel restrictions caused a short-lived improvements in air quality, WHO said air pollution remains a towering problem. Time for a break. ENI UK and Europe Edition will be back. Mr. Bawal, ang galing mo namang sumayaw. Pwede pa kopya ng dance steps mo? Oo naman, Mr. Pwede. Mr. Bawal, ang ganda rin ang forma mo. Pwede pa kopya ng forma mo? Oo pa. Mr. Bawal, pakopya naman sagot mo. Yan ang hindi pwede. Ang pagsilit sa sagot ng iba, lalong-lalong na sabotuhan. Oy, bawal yan! Ayon sa Omnibus Election Code, ang pagtatangkang silipin at alamin ang boto ng iba ay isang election offense. Mr. Pwede? <laughs> Please report to the principal's office. Ako si Mr. Bawal, nagpapaalala sa inyo na ang pagsilip sa boto ng ibang butante. Uy! Bawal yan! A public service message of NET25, formata ng halalan 2022. Matatag, matapang, matapat. Reklamo sa madumi at mabahong creek sa Santa Rosa, Laguna, nirespondihan. Alamin, project big book ng isang mountaineer at guru. Paano nga ba nangangatulong sa mas maraming kabataan? Mga tao sa likod ng command center ng Department of Health na naging katuwang ng mga Pilipino sa kasalisagan ng COVID-19 pandemic ating kinilala. At jeepney driver na dala ay libreng sakay sa mga PWDs, buntis at senior citizens tampok sa ating E-Responder! Mapapanood nyo kami sa mga sumusunod na mga channels. Sabado, alas 6 hanggang alas 7 ng gabi. Ito ang Responde Mata ng Mamamayan. Welcome back to ENI UK and Europe edition. I'm Kate Rabibis. Interesting stories from around the UK and Europe this week. In uh, Italian confectionery group Ferrero has extended its recall of its Kinder uh, chocolate eggs to UK and Ireland over possible links to dozens of salmonella cases. Aribel Celestino has the details. Hello, Aribel. Hi, Kate. And yes, Italian confectionery group Ferrero said on Wednesday, It has extended a recall uh, of its Kinder chocolate eggs in Britain and Ireland over possible links to salmonella cases. None of its toy-filled Kinder Surprise chocolate eggs or other products has been proven to contain salmonella, but Ferrero said it has extended the UK and Irish recall as a precaution. The move 
which follows recalls on Tuesday in several other European countries, follows concerns over products from Ferrero's factory in the Belgian town of Ireland that were put on sale in Belgium, Britain, France, Germany, and Sweden. For those who don't know, salmonella is a type of bacteria that can cause symptoms including diarrhea, fever, and stomach cramps in humans, and is one of the most common foodborne infections. The recall will now include 20-gram Kinder Surprise eggs sold individually and in packs of three with best before dates up to and including October 7, 2022. Also, Kate, Tuesday's recall only covered such products with recommended use by dates from July 11 to October 7. Meanwhile, Ferrero said it had taken the decision to voluntarily recall some other Kindred products. 75 gram mini eggs, 150 gram egg hunt kits, 100 gram Kinder surprises, and 200 gram Kinder shuffle box. In Britain and Ireland, with consumption dates from April 20 to August 21. It continues to cooperate with various regulatory agencies in both countries in relation to a number of reported cases of salmonella, the company said. Although Kinder products released to market have tested positive for salmonella, we are taking this extremely serious, it added. Britain's Food Standard Agency has said 63 cases of salmonella have been identified across the UK. In France, 21 cases have been reported and 15 reported having eaten the Kinder products that have now been recalled, according to the French Public Health Service. Over to you, Kate. Thank you, uh, Arabelle, for your report. Reporting from London, United Kingdom, I'm Arabelle Celestino and we live in interesting times. And up to eight more uh, nuclear reactors could be delivered on existing sites as part of the UK's new energy strategy. Here is Ryan Florentino with the details. The plan, which aims to boost UK energy independence and tackle rising prices, also includes plans to increase wind, hydrogen and solar production. But experts have called for a bigger focus on energy efficiency and improving home insulation. Consumers are facing soaring energy bills after the Russian invasion of Ukraine pushed gas prices even higher. Under the government's new plans, up to 95% of the UK's electricity could come from low carbon sources by 2030. It outlines the hope of producing up to 50 gigawatts of energy through offshore wind farms. It states the focus on nuclear power will deliver up to eight reactors overall, with one being approved each year until 2030. Although Russian imports account for only 8% of the UK's oil and 5% of gas supplies, it is still affected by rising wholesale prices worldwide and household budgets have come under pressure. Prime Minister Boris Johnson said it would reduce our dependence on power sources exposed to international prices we cannot control, so we can enjoy greater energy, self-sufficiency with cheaper bills. From the United Kingdom, I'm Ryan Florentino. Thank you, Ryan, for your update. Self-employed uh, lorry drivers in Spain who have been on strike since March 14 have agreed on a temporary suspension. Here is correspondent Be Beverly Madrid from Spain with the details. Spain's striking truckers recently agreed to temporarily suspend a nearly three-week strike over crippling fuel prices that left shelf bare in some supermarkets. Self-employed truckers have been on strike since March 14, blocking roads and holding pickets that have caused shortages of food. On March 25, the government offered a refund and a one-time cash payment to end the strike. Although carriers represented by the road transport defense platform rejected the offer as insufficient and promised to continue their strike, it has since lost momentum. 
In a meeting outside a gas station near Madrid on Saturday, they agreed to pause their action with spokesman Manuel Hernandez insisting it was only a temporary suspension and not a cancellation of the strike. Spain has been battling a wave of social unrest over runaway inflation and rising prices with strikes by truckers, production stoppages, and mass protests by farmers and fishermen. Earlier this week, the government also revealed plans to offer 16 billion euros in direct aid and loans to families and businesses affected by the impact of the war. In March, Spain's inflation rate hit a 37-year high, jumping to 9.8% from 7.6% in February. Reporting from Barcelona, Spain, I'm Beverly Madrid. We live in interesting times. Thank you for bringing this re report, Beverly. Time for a break. ENI UK and Europe Edition will be back. The world just celebrated the International Women's Month to commemorate the cultural, political, and socioeconomic achievements of women around the globe. Sa ating bansa, progresibong isinusulong ang pagtataguyod ng mas maraming oportunidad para sa mga kababaihan pagdating sa iba't ibang sektor ng lipunan. Nakilala natin ang mga kababaihang nagpakitang gila sa iba't ibang larangan, sa gobyerno, sa negosyo, sa sports at entertainment, at maging ang mga nasa labor workforce, sa on-site environment man, o sa digital economy. In this episode, we will be joined by Binibining Pilipinas Universe 2000, Ms. Nina Ricci Alagao Flores, to know her thoughts about the important role of women in business and in our society. Do not be afraid. This might be the perfect time for you to get started. Who knows that that you know little idea of yours for a small business might bloom into something really big. All these in this episode of Open for Business. Abangan niyo po ako bilang guest performer sa Letters and Music ngayong Sabado, April 9, 1 to 2 p.m. Siyempre, dito lang yan sa Net25. Ita kids! Masisipag na barangay tanod. Ano lamang mo sa ating mga tanod gamers? <laughs> Masyado po tayo sexy. <laughs> Ay, Kik, agad-agad. <laughs> Kay tanong natin, alam nila yung paro-paro, G! Ngayong linggo, alas 7 ng gabi sa NET 25! Welcome back to ENI UK and Europe Edition. I'm Kate Rubidis. In sports, Keith Dimabuyo brings us the latest in football. Let's watch. Thomas Tuchel turned on Chelsea's players as the Blue Boss let his frustration pour out after their dismal 3-1 defeat against Real Madrid in the Champions League quarter-final first leg. Tuchel's side are facing the end of their reign as Champions League holders following a bitter night at Stamford Bridge on Wednesday. Karim Benzema's 
impressive hat trick comp comprising of two masterful headers and a ruthless finish after an Edward Mendy's howler left Thomas Tuchel conceding Chelsea have no chance of progressing to the semi-finals if his team's performances do not improve. The spluttering performance was completely unrecognizable from Chelsea's dynamic run to the Champions League title last season and more recently their six game winning streak before the March international break. He barely had time to sit down for his post match press conference before he gave the brutal honesty of his team's performance. Because we have to find our level back. I didn't know, I don't know where it is, but uh, since national break, the, the first half is a. Is a um, is a repetition of the of the second half against Brentford and in a, in a quarter final against Real Madrid. Um, so far, of our our level, in absolutely everything, what the game demands, that you you cannot expect a result from 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 this kind of performance. He was adamant that the ongoing sale of Chelsea, forced by the British government sanctions of the club's Russian owner Roman Abramovich following the invasion of Ukraine was not a distraction, or at least not one that he was willing to accept as an excuse from his players. Nothing encapsulated Chelsea's night to forget better than the late chance missed by Romelu Lukaku, whose woeful header underlined why Tuchel had preferred to start with Kai Havertz. Havertz had scored before halftime with a clinical header, giving them hope before Mendy and Antonio Rudiger combined to gift Karim Benzema the third goal. Worryingly for Tuchel, even Chelsea's place in the Premier League's top four is far from certain if they carry on their current form. Reporting for Sport from the UK, for ENI, I'm Keith Imabuyu, and we live in interesting times. Thank you for bringing us the sports update, Keith. In today's view from our window, we explore one of the great gardens of the world. Located in Surrey, uh, United Kingdom, RHS Garden Ridley is the flagship garden of the Royal Horticultural Society filled with horticultural inspiration. This garden is a tourist attraction and one of five gardens run by the Royal Horticultural Society or RHS, the others being Harlow Carr, Hyde, uh, Hyde Hall, Rosemore, and Bridgewater. Risley is a large and spectacular garden covering over 240 acres. The site contains many formal and informal gardens, several gas houses, orchards, and arboretums. In addition, there are a number of small-scale model gardens which are intended to show visitors what they can achieve in their own gardens and a trials field where new cultivars are assessed. Finally, RHS Garden Wisby is a good place to spend time with family and friends and simply to relax among beautiful surroundings. This view is courtesy of Ryan Florentino from the United Kingdom. Thanks for sharing this view with us, Ryan. That's it for today's program. Stay safe and keep positive as we bring you more stories next week from the United Kingdom and Europe. I'm Kate Ruby Riss and we live in interesting times. Pamilya Sila ang nagmulat sa atin paano magmahal I'm doing this all for you Kasi mahal na mahal kita Mangarap Hello po! Patapos na po ako magluto Lumaban Kilala akong isa sa may mga matigas na ulo sa anyong island. Nagkamali ka ng kinalaban. Bumangon. Si Mama ay mahal na mahal ka. Silang nagbibigay sa atin ng ngiti, inspirasyon, lakas ng loob, at pag-asa. Handog ng Net25 ang mga natatanging obra na nagpapatunay na ang mahalaga sa lahat ay... Familia. Mi Esperanza. Panalo o talo? It's you. Never twice. Palabra de amor. Gabi-gabi sa Net25, prime time ng pamilya. Let's get together sa init ng summer.
good shape. Do's and don'ts that will help you stay fit for the rest of your life. We answer the question, what do our bodies really need? In good shape. Can you feel it? Do you like it? Do you want it? <laughs> so good. I love it. Okay. Then buckle up, put the pedal to the metal, and let's ride. Rev. Nagbibigay ng ngiti at saya sa bawat kada all over the world. Tara na't ma-inspire at ma-amaze sa kwento ng mga bawat kada na nagwagi sa anumang hamon at pagsubok ng buhay. Itago na mga remote control at tumambay lang dito sa paborito niyong barkada sa umaga ang Kada Umaga! Dahil kayo ang bida dito. Agad-agad, sobrang laking tulong po talaga. 13 Sundays na natapos sa amin ng Season 1. Gusto namin magpasalamat sa inyong lahat na talagang patuloy na sumusuporta sa aming Tara Game. Agad-agad sa Net25. Tandaan nyo lang, dito kahit hindi henyo ay may chance sa manalo ng hanggang isang daang libong piso. Ang kailangan lang ay bilis ng kamay sa pagpindot at diskarte sa pagsagot. Tara Game! This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young 